Hey guys, I've got a quick, easy project I'm gonna do with you today. Uh, first off, let me show you this. Now don't get excited, there's not really a comparison in this case. This is just a big old empty case. And I don't need it, but uh, it was super cheap, so I decided I might as well get it. Uh, someone might have a you know a pointy guitar. I think like a Jackson Randy Rhodes would fit in this, and uh, you know of course if someone actually has a comparison without a case, they might pay good money for this. But um, I've got it home, and it's taken up a lot of room, of course, like all the other guitars do. I have an idea uh, to make something out of it. Let me show you something else I've got over here on this side of the garage. All right, then this is something that a neighbor threw out. This is an old coffee table that had a glass glass top I assume that broke so they threw it out and uh, I held on to it now I'm thinking I can just take this wooden frame off and use the legs to make a coffee table and that's such a big wide guitar case with no guitar in it I've got I figure I can put the legs on the bottom of the guitar case and make a coffee table All right, first let me show you what this guitar case looks like on the inside. So it's a shape for a, a pointy V guitar, and it really looks like a Randy Rhodes would fit in here perfectly. I don't have one at the moment. So yeah, someone's really excited about their Dunlop strings, huh? I've made a lot of coffee tables out of different things in the past. I remember when uh, my wife and I first started dating, when we got our first apartment together, uh, she had a bunch of furniture she kept from her dorm room, but we needed a coffee table. She was going to go buy one. I said, no, nah, don't buy a coffee table. I'll make us one. Uh, so I like, um, I nailed three big long planks together and I propped them up on a pair of milk, uh, milk crates. She wasn't as excited about it as I was, <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, she went with it for me. She says it's a little too rustic looking for her likes, so I painted it a bright, vibrant blue. She really likes bright colors. But I kept it on the boat crates. I never built legs for it. I built a little box to put underneath it to store our uh, remotes, our TV remotes and stereo. Remote control. Oh, there's some, there's some tape on here, too, that this one is covering up. What do we got? Oh, nothing. I don't know why. These stickers came off nice and easy. Thank you, Dunlop. All right, you know, I'm gonna keep this fragile one on here because it's kind of cool. Man, it didn't even really leave any sticky residue on it. All right, so what do you guys think? So I'll drill into the case and put a bolt through the inside. Bolt it down. It'll put uh, you know eight holes in the bottom of it. But I can do that underneath the um, underneath the fur, the fake fur. <laughs> 